Hey guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care, and today we're talking about aerators. I've got a couple different setups here to show you, and I want to talk about both, um, you know, advantages, disadvantages, and what may or may not be right for you. So let's jump into it. If you've been following me for a little while, you've, you've seen the Great Dane project where I took a, a Great Dane stand on mower, and essentially all I did to the mower modification wise was that I dropped the deck and all of the uh, assembly and everything that goes along with that uh, belts etc and then I added on a buyer's ATV spreader it's a uh, I believe it's an 80 pound hopper I think that's right I think it's advertised as a hundred pound but I, I haven't found a hundred pounds of anything that'll fit in it capacity wise and then added the uh, SMV Industries sprayer. It's a 25 gallon sprayer. Um, so of course you've got the wand, you've got the, uh, the boom with a sprayer head on each end. So it'll spray, you know, about six feet wide. And it's got a uh, 3300 series Rimco pump, 2.2 um, GPM, 8.3 liters per minute. So, uh, nice little sprayer, really, uh, really like this. So basically I built this to be my applicator machine. That was its primary purpose was to go out, spread seed, spread fertilizer, um, sprayer for treating my lawn. You know, if down the road I get a license, then I can use that for treating other people's lawns. And then I had the bright idea, which was a good idea. And I had a lot of reasons for it. Um, bright idea of adding my Z Raider aerator to the front thinking you know the tank on the back would be perfect as counterweight because that you need the counterweight for traction and so I did that over the winter and tried it out for the first time tried it out for the first time this spring and there it's nice to have one machine that can do everything the problem is it's kind of like a Swiss Army knife. A Swiss Army knife can do a lot of different things, but it's not great at everything. And that's kind of what I'm running into with the Z-Raider. The Z-Raider is great, okay? It's built good, um, you know, electric jack, you know, moving it up and down. So it's, it's, not, uh, it's not necessarily hard to use or anything like that. The problem with it is it doesn't cover a whole lot of area because you see how the how the tines are laid out and they swivel these heads swivel for making turns but you see the gap in the middle so basically you have about a foot of aeration on each side you make a pass you turn around and then you overlap and so in two passes you cover about four feet but you have to make two passes to cover four feet you're only covering about two feet in one pass and you absolutely have to go back over it or you're missing a pretty good area in between. So that's one thing about the Z-Raider that's not great. The other thing is that this machine has a, has a fairly small Kohler engine, which is perfect for what I primarily use it for, and it's, it's perfect as a mower, but the weight of that Z-Raider, which is around 200, 250 pounds on the front of this machine, um, combined with the smaller tire size on the Great Dane, it doesn't get very good traction and it doesn't really have enough horsepower to push that thing around. Now on flat surfaces, you know, like out here, if this was lawn, it would do great. The problem is the town that I'm in, the city that I'm in, every single lawn almost has hills. Um, you're either gonna have to go up or down at some point or another. And this just really doesn't have the power to it just doesn't have the power to operate all of this at once so I've kind of ran into that a little bit so so the power issue combined with the fact that it just takes a while to cover a lot of ground with this are two of the reasons why I'm seriously considering selling the Z Raider um, I've tried it on three different machines so that's another thing I'll talk about real quick. I first tried it on the 52Z3X, and this was when I first got this mower. I still had the factory tires on the back, which, you know, they were terrible for traction. They were just too narrow. Um, now that I have these twheels on the back, it would probably do much better. 
but uh, the Z Raider was a bit much for it. I just I felt like this mower, even though it has incredible horsepower, I just felt like it wasn't quite heavy enough to get the traction that I needed. And so I moved the Z Raider to my John Deere 920M uh, sit on zero turn commercial. And I'd say it probably did the best on that mower out of anything else because that mower had plenty of weight and it had enough horsepower. But I still had the issue of having to make so many passes to cover, you know, a decent amount of square footage. So all of that to say, I'm seriously considering selling the Z-Raider and just using my Great Dane as what I built it for, what I intended it for as an applicator machine. And then I'm going to go with this setup for aeration. Now this is a AgriFab 48-inch aerator. I purchased this off of Amazon. I'm not going to tell you the price because every time I get on there to check the price, it changes. And it will depend on whether or not you're a Prime member and who you buy it through. Um, and Amazon's not the only source. You can find these online. You can uh, I believe you can even get them through Home Depot or Lowe's. I'm um, sure farm stores, you know, would have them. But um, the advantage to this is that the overall unit is much lighter. Uh, it has transport tires. They're nine and three quarter inch transport tires. So you can drive around with it. And then when you're ready to aerate, you just shift the lever over, drop it down. And it's in aeration mode. So, you know, just easy one hand operation. The tray on top will hold up to 175 pounds of weight to get the depth of aeration that you want. Um, I've, got a, I've got some ideas for how I'm going to set up weights up here, but for right now I've just got a couple 50 pound bag, bags of fertilizer sitting on the tray. Um, you know, just to, just to get me by, that's 100 pounds of counterweight, so that'll be more than enough. And the other advantage to this is you have 48 inches of aeration. Now, yeah, the tines are, are a little ways apart, but you have eight sets of tines. And I've used this type of aerator in the past, and I know in my area that I can, I can make one pass with this aerator, and it would be adequate, you know, compared to the Z-Rator where I'm going to have to make at least two passes. And so there's a big advantage there. You're, you're covering a lot more space. You're covering four feet at a time. And so even if I made double passes, I'm still going to be getting more aeration per square foot than I will with the Z Raider. Another advantage is I pull a pin, it comes right off. So, you know, um, trailer space and things like that, I can easily take this unit off, take the bags off, and uh, get it out of my way. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, now I pick this unit up, put it together. And I'm getting ready to go out and use it and see and see how well it's going to work for me. But I think that's probably what I'm going to go with, at least for the time being. Um, you know, as far as cost goes, this is way cheaper of an option than a Z-Rater also. You know, if somebody's looking at getting into aeration, and it's a, it's a good moneymaker, guys, if you're thinking about it. I mean, it really is a good moneymaker. Uh, spring and fall both you know before the season starts as the season's getting started which is a busy time and it's kind of hard to keep up but you know in the in the fall when you're kind of in that in-between period of you know finishing the mowing season and you haven't quite started leaf cleanup yet it's another great time to make some money with aeration so just saying that um, it's a good thing to get into and believe it or not I'm one of the only guys in my area even though there's some big companies here I'm one of the only guys in my area that even offers aeration which is why I, I made the purchase of the Z-Rater in the first place because I thought well nobody else is doing it so I can do it and make some money and I have you know I've, I've paid for that unit or it has paid for itself um, it's definitely made me money and it's a stout unit and it would be great for somebody that has the right kind of properties. Um, primarily, more or less flat. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can do some hills, and it depends on the machine you put it on. If you put it on a, a good heavy zero turn mower, you know, the, the mower itself isn't great for aeration, but that's a good setup for a Z-Rater. 
So, so this is what I'm going to go with for right now. We're going to try it out. We're going to see how it works. Um, you know, the Z Raider, I'm, I'm really not trying to bash it, guys. The, uh, the unit, it, it's good at what it does, okay? It's, it's tough. It's well built. It's heavy. Um, it's just not perfect for everybody, and it's not perfect for every setup, and that's kind of where I'm at with it, is that it's just not ideal for me. And, uh, you know, the machine that I built, I love it. I love how everything works on that. I'm just not thrilled about the z -Rater part of it. But, uh, you know, there's always more than one option, and I think this option is probably going to be my go-to as far as uh, being more efficient and getting the job done certainly a lot cheaper you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to sell that aerator for what I gave for it the Z Raider but uh, you know this is a fraction of the cost and I'll just tell you guys for me I gave two it was right at 240 for this but I know somebody's going to get online and look for it, and you're not going to be able to find it for that price, or maybe you will. Um, I think I just got lucky because when I got back on there to look earlier so I could tell you what the price was, uh, the same one that I ordered was up to 350 So I don't know what the price jump was all about, but it literally jumped over $100 in price. So, you know, mixed results on... on where you can find it and how much but but you know you've got that that price let's say let's say you have to pay let's say you have to pay 350 for the unit uh, the Z Raider is about 2000 so that's the price difference and obviously this there's there's no power unit so you've got to raise and lower it yourself um, it's a pull behind unit versus a, a push unit you know a front mount unit and uh, and there's definitely quite a bit more metal and fabrication that's gone into this unit. You know, much heavier tines, more tines per spindle, you know, all that kind of stuff, heavy duty bearings. So, I mean, I understand the cost of this, but, uh, but you know, big difference in cost if you're just thinking about getting into aeration and you don't have $2,000 to spend or a machine heavy enough to push this around. So, that's, probably about all I can say about it for now guys um, I will I will give you an update pretty soon I'm gonna be as I said I'm gonna be out using this aerator uh, seeing how it's gonna work for me I've got I've got some lawns that I need to get out and do today so I'm gonna go get those done and if I can I'll get you guys some video but for sure I will let you know how it's working out for me and whether or not whether or not I'm for sure going to try to sell the Z Raider and uh, and just run this aerator instead so as always guys thanks for watching get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one